The movie begins with a man called Jay who is seen living happily with his wife and two younger daughters. He informs his family that he needs to travel for work which they don't like. He tells them that he will be back quickly and when he does, he will make it up to them. We see a stranger outside the family's home who has been listening and watching them the whole time. Jay thinks he hears someone outside but dismisses it. When Jay walks past the front door, he sees that it is open. Suddenly, he hears his wife scream out and rushes to the kitchen. He is horrified to find his wife laying on the floor unconscious and his daughter looking over her. He realizes that his other daughter is missing. He rushes upstairs to find her hiding under the bed. As he tries to convince her to come out, we see the legs of the intruder behind him. He hits Jay over the head and knocks him out. When Jay finally wakes up, he finds himself tied up in the basement unaware of what is going on. He then sees that he is not alone. There are three other people in the basement with him who are also chained to the wall. One is a girl, a security guard, and a man who appears to be seriously injured. The man's skin has been removed and his mouth has been sewn shut. Jay asks what is going on and why he is there. They tell him that they don't know and the kidnapper has brought them all to this location. A few hours later, the kidnapper arrives in the basement and he throws a piece of meat in the middle of the room. The lady quickly picks it and splits it into three and throws it to the rest of them. Jay refuses to eat it but the girl tells him that this is the only piece of food he will get. The man whose mouth has been stitched shut is unable to eat. Here we learn that the kidnapper regularly injects him to keep him alive. Jay gets desperate and begins clawing at the wall. While doing so his nail falls off and he realizes that the only way out is through the main door. The rest of them tell him that they have tried to escape many times but it is useless. Jay begins frantically clawing at the ground and discovers a bone and a skull. When he looks up, he sees a camera and realizes that the kidnapper is watching their every move. Jay gets angry and gets up and starts cursing. The rest of the guys tell him to calm down otherwise they will all be tortured. We then see the kidnapper with all his tools he uses to torture people. We learn that the kidnapper's name is Dominic and he is seen preparing himself before going into the basement. When he enters the room, Jay is taken back as the man is big and looks very menacing. The man doesn't say a word while looking at his knife. Jay asks him where his family is but Dominic does not respond. Suddenly, he drags the injured man to the center of the room and he asks the lady to cut off a piece of skin and give it to him. The girl is afraid but she has no choice. She does exactly as he asks while shaking uncontrollably. Upon seeing this, Jay becomes very scared and realizes that Dominic is crazy. Shortly after, he throws a knife towards Jay and tells him that it is his turn. Jay sees his chance and he lunges at Dominic. He moves out the way but Jay catches him on the arm. Dominic then gets very angry and pulls Kate to the middle of the floor and asks the guard to come over with a tube. He inserts the tube in her mouth and as everyone stands there in shock, he puts a large insect with a razor blade down the tube into her mouth. He then closes her mouth and makes her eat the insect. We see Jess fall down to the floor and the cockroach falls out of her mouth. After Dominic leaves, Jay quickly makes his way over to her to make sure she is okay. He stamps on the cockroach and finds part of a blade under his shoe. He then quickly begins trying to cut the rope in order to escape. The others tell him to stop otherwise they will be punished. He doesn't listen and he manages to cut the rope just as Dominic re-enters the room. He slashes him and makes a run for it. Jay finds that all the doors are shut and he is unable to escape. He comes across a vent and manages to get up. As he makes his way through it, the vent collapses and he falls to the ground and gets knocked out. When he finally wakes up, he finds himself back in the basement chained to the wall. We then see Dominic walk in holding a hammer, he gives it to Adam and he tells him to nail Jay's hands to the wall. Jay begs him not to but Adam hits him with the hammer. He then grabs his hands and nails them to the wall while he screams out. Jay faints but when he wakes up, he begins crying and can't believe what they have done to him. With all his strength, Jay somehow manages to pull his hands free from the wall and is in immense pain. He tells the others that there must be a reason why they have all been brought here and are being punished. They can't seem to piece it together but that's when Paul murmurs something. Unable to speak, he uses his hands to draw something on the floor. Somehow, he pulls apart his sewn mouth and mentions horseshoe. That's when it hits Jay and he realizes why they are all there. 
The scene then shifts to years earlier where we see a group of kids around a campfire. Jay is on holiday with his family when he comes across three children. They begin telling each other scary stories and Jay tells them one about a crazed farmer who lives nearby whose wife died a few years ago. Rumor has it that after losing his wife, the man became insane and imprisoned his son in his farmhouse. He would regularly torture him and even began removing his skin with his sharp axe. He tells him that the farmer is still alive and regularly goes around the forest looking for his next victim. While Jay is telling him the story, they are startled when they hear someone coming towards them. As they look up, they see a little boy who tells them that he is here with his family, he asks if he can be their friend. The group tell him that he can but only on one condition, he must do a dare. The boy agrees and the young girl tells him to put an insect in his mouth and keep it there. They put their hands over his mouth and make him swallow it. Next, they put a spider on his head, the spider makes its way down his face and goes into his ear. He runs off shouting but the group catch up with him. They then tie him down and put worms all over his face. The boy is unable to do anything and he is left there all by himself. The next day, after hearing his mom and dad argue, the same boy somehow made it home and he comes outside to sit down. He is shortly joined by the same evil girl from yesterday night, she sees a mark of a horseshoe and asks him how he got it. He tells her that he did it after his parents sold his favorite horse. She manages to convince him to go with her and she takes him to the old farmhouse that Jay told them about. The rest of the group turn up and tell him to go inside. They tell him if he does, then they will allow him to be friends with them. Reluctantly he listens to them and slowly makes his way in. As the group watch on, they see someone grab him from behind which frightens them, they all quickly run away leaving the boy there. After that, all of them finally went home and never met again. That's when it is revealed that the little boy's name was Dominic, the four of them were the children that bullied him and that is the reason they have been brought to the house in the basement. For years the family of Dominic looked for him but were unable to find him, even when the police investigated him missing, the group were all interviewed but never said a word. They could have helped but chose not to. The scene then shifts back to the time when Dominic was taken, we see him lying on the floor chained to the wall. The man named Credence kept him in the house against his will. For years he mistreated and abused him. He would be punished for the smallest things and was only ever fed small scraps of meat. One night, Dominic escaped and he made his way through the forest. Suddenly, he just stood still and realized that he didn't have anyone anymore. Strangely, he turns around and makes his way back to the house. In the years that followed, Dominic became stronger and more ruthless. One day, they both get into a fight and Credence knocks him out. When he wakes up, he finds himself tied by a chain and underneath him is boiling water. As Credence insults him, he begins coughing violently and collapses. Dominic manages to get down and when Credence regains consciousness, he finds himself tied up. Dominic has become so cold-hearted, he drops the chain sending Credence into the boiling water. Later we see him making a mask out of Credence's skin for his face. The movie then jumps to the present and we see Jay, Kate and Paul discussing what to do next. Jay suggests that they apologize to Dominic but the rest don't think that will work. Jay starts screaming out for Dominic and he makes his way to the basement. He stuns Jay and pulls out a syringe full of spider eggs. He tells him that he will have to inject Kate with it. He tells them that he will torture them all just like they did to him. He grabs Kate and brings her over to Jay. Jay has no choice and he does as he is told and injects her in the ear. We then see Dominic beat up Paul so badly that he finishes him off. He then makes his way back to his room and we see him drawing a big X on a picture of Paul. On the monitor, he sees Jay and Adam fighting. When Jay collapses on the floor, he goes back to the basement to check on him. This was all part of the group's plan and when he enters, they quickly jump on him and begin beating him. Dominic is too strong for them and gets the upper hand. To teach them a lesson, he tells Kate to put a flesh-eating worm into Adam's eye. She doesn't want it but has no choice, the worms begin eating his eyeball while he suffers in pain. When Dominic is about to kill Jay, Kate quickly begins talking about when he was younger which seems to have an impact on him, he quickly leaves and goes back to his room and starts smashing everything up. Meanwhile, Adam is in a lot of pain, Jay realizes that the only way to help him is to get the worms out. 
He has no choice and gorges his eye out. The lights in the basement start flickering and Dominic makes his way back there. Jay asks for the knife from Adam but he refuses to give it to him. They both get into a fight but in all the commotion, Jay ends up stabbing him in the mouth and Adam ends up dead. Kate can't believe what has just happened and she holds the knife up to Jay's neck. Suddenly, Dominic arrives and grabs her from behind. He is just about to finish her off when Jay begs him to stop. He tells him that he was a good boy and it was them who made him the way that he is. He apologizes to him for what they did and tells him that he is better than this. As he stands there, Kate bites him on the hand and as Dominic turns around, Jay sees his chance and drives the knife into him. Unfortunately, Kate gets in the way and he catches her in the stomach. As she lies on the floor, Dominic proceeds by pushing the knife in and rotating it 360 degrees. He then pushes it up her chest and pulls out her heart. Dominic tells Jay to kill him but he is confused and runs out the basement. Dominic follows him and they both get into a fight. They get outside where Dominic tells him again to kill him or otherwise he will kill him. Dominic then gets on top of him and just when it looks like he is going to be finished off, Jay manages to grab the knife from the floor and stabs him in the side of his body. Jay manages to get up and runs away leaving Dominic to die. The movie then shifts to 10 years later where we see a group of children camping in the forest. They tell each other scary stories but suddenly, they hear a noise behind them which scares them. To their horror, they see a man with a mask made from human skin. That's when we learn that the two girls are actually Jay's two daughters who have now grown up, they are both kidnapped and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.